I can tell you that none of these competitors are happy to be in the chamber, but they all want to be here because the winner will be remembered forever. Byron, what's better than phenomenal? What's that? Well, whatever the answer is, AJ Styles is going to have to be that to survive the Elimination Chamber. The what following the contest I actually is agree in with you. Elimination Chamber match. And it's for the championship. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. What an intimidating sight this chamber AJ must be for all of these Styles. competitors. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles has dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades, but he has never faced anything like the Elimination Chamber. Take six of WWE's hungriest stars, add tons of unforgiving steel, and remove all the rules. That is why Elimination Chamber is so devastating. And introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the apex predator. The Viper, Randy Orton. The Elimination Chamber match will undoubtedly be among the most vicious matches we've seen in a long time. Boy, that's the truth, Michael. There's no way to sugarcoat it. When you're surrounded by that much steel, you're in danger, period. starting to fill up inside the elimination chamber. Gentlemen, I wouldn't wish the pain of this structure on my worst enemy. Trust me, I've seen a few of them in this match before. And introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. I can't imagine what it must be like locked inside the unforgiving structure. You've got to wonder what's going through this superstar's mind inside that ominous structure.
There's more heavy metal enveloped in this ring than there is in my MP3 player. And guys, that's a lot of metal. And introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Byron, what do you think is going through the minds of the superstars who are waiting to enter the fray from inside the pods? Well, my guess is they're counting their blessings. After all, they could have been among the first two to start this match, which is about as unenviable a spot as you would want. This superstar may still be the champion at the end of this, but they will never be the same. Dozens of the toughest men and women in WWE history have braved and this structure, and this combatant joins their ranks tonight. Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the world champion, Daniel Bryan. Corey, what should we expect to see here tonight in this elimination chamber match? The only thing I'm willing to predict in a match like this is complete unpredictability. You just never know what's going to happen inside that demonic structure. Four superstars locked in a pod. Two will start the elimination chamber. Destruction on the way. And introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. What an intimidating sight this chamber must be for all of these competitors. This superstar may still be the champion at the end of this, but they will never be the same. We've seen it time and time again. When Daniel Bryan's competing in the ring, he possesses dizzying speed and can run circles around most of his opponents. The amazing thing to me is that all six of these competitors know the punishment they're about to endure, yet they all agree to go ahead with this match anyway. Talk about true gamers. Tornado oh. DDT! Viking DDT! The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. But we all know his pain tolerance is off the charts. And in a match like this, that may be what puts him over the top. We're about to get another one. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. The challenger not looking good right now. This very well may be too much for him to handle. It looks to me like he's wishing he was back in his palm. Oh, man. At least in there he was safe from the beating he's taking. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back quite a bit. You can never count AJ Styles out, but his few losses have known to come from bigger opponents who countered Styles' aerial attack. If you're going to beat Styles, you need a strong move. Roman Reigns barely escaped their rivalry, but he got two big wins with some well times. Dear 
point, Corey. I can think of another time strength stopped the phenomenal one. When John Cena rolled from an attitude adjustment into a second AA to win their classic match at the Alamo Dome. And you can't forget AJ's match against Brock Lesnar. Styles survived Suplex City, but fell to an F5. Beating Styles requires a lot of power and even more luck. Bam! Sleeper slam! AJ Styles loses. Oh. Uh-oh, a forearm gonna cut off the win. Mustafa Ali prides himself on being a role model for everyone to follow their dreams and be the best they can be. He's all about, whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Cover, guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. How in the world? I want to add to the discussion of Mustafa Ali as a role model. You know, this is a guy who has shown time and time again that you can be a winner in WWE, but also earn the respect of everyone around you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I got respect for Mustafa Ali, but when he lets opportunities like the Cruiserweight Classic and his WrestleMania title opportunity slip away, I lose it bit by bit. At some point, he needs to learn that glory beats adulation. Now we see Jeff Hardy hurting a little here, Ooh. but he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches happened earlier on as Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander faced off about a new Cruiserweight Champion. It was a match that saw two close friends reaching for the same dream. Here we go. Thunderous slam. Boom. He might have it. Let's revisit. And a kick out by Jeff Hardy. That would have been a soccer. What a combination. Shoulders on the mat. Not much behind that pin attempt. Not even close. Everybody likes a showman, but I think Samoa Joe might be taking it a little too far here. Boom, what impact. You know, Corey, you and I were talking earlier about how Samoa Joe has almost cost them in their careers. He's a threat to every superstar's health. And I understand. The champion into the cover. And he kicks out. Wow. Jeff Hardy just barely getting out of the way. So quick. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Corey, I'm a big... Mission move coming up. Oh, it's locked in. But did he go for it too early? You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. What should AJ Styles try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? This is not at all how the Randy Orton looking to finish this one early. Oh, how resilient is that? I'm having a hard time believing that one. Elbow finds its mark. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. Since the Elimination Chamber's inception in 2002, there have been 20 Elimination Chamber matches. The Chambers decided the fate of the World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship, the ECW Championship, the WWE Tag Team Titles, and the Intercontinental Crown in 2015 when that championship was vacant. I thought that was it. Might have slipped there, Cole. Big time slam. Vicious. Corey, earlier you took us through the incredible history of the Elimination Chamber. The first time the WWE Championship was decided inside the Chamber's cold steel walls was in 2006, the New Year's Revolution event. John Cena entered the chamber as the WWE Champion, and he exited the chamber as the WWE Champion. The Elimination Chamber has become a major part of WWE history. Rivalries have been ended and created inside the steel structure. Superstars have pushed themselves beyond the brink of exhaustion, and champions have been crowned. The Elimination Chamber and its brutality is without equal. Randy Orton looking to finish this one early. Back in from the floor. There's the elimination for him. What took him so long? Oh boy, he is rolling. What's going to happen now? Oh, drop kick. He's in big trouble. What's he got in mind? Oh, what a fall. That was dirty. What's AJ Styles going to do with this? Who knows? This might be it. Oh, my. 
AJ Styles has got him. This may be the beginning. This could do it. What's AJ Styles going to do now? Digging deep for a kick out. Nice kick out there. He caught him slipping. AJ Styles has got him. This may be the beginning of the end. Guys, the word patience is not one I would associate with some other Joe. Evidence to that can be seen in his Universal Championship match. Joe grew tired of waiting, interrupting pre-match introductions and unloading on the beast like no one had ever done before. By the end of the night, Brock Lesnar knew he was in a hell of a fight. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, oh he goes low. You're not cheating, you're not trying. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Escapes trouble there. A surprise reversal from Jeff Hardy. <laughs> He's looking at it. Twist the fake. What? He just put a left shoulder tackle. Styles can finish the job here. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Just when he thought it was over. Wow. You gotta believe this one's over. His shoulders are down. Never say die attitude out of him. How'd he do that? Harsh impact. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Oh man, AJ Styles quickly into the cover with the title on the line. How does he keep doing this? Incredible, absolutely incredible. Ooh, what impact. He's got the shoulders down. There's the elevation, Barry. That was amazing. What a strike. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Put me into the cover with the title of the line. New champion. New champion. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. What's it going to take? He might have just ended this. Dropped, and that was a hard shot for him. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the beautiful technique. The champ needs to hurt. Is that enough for the win? There's the elimination firing. That was amazing. He wants no part of the outside. Submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Looking for the finish. 
He's teetering on the edge here. Impressive combination kicks. Looks like this one's gonna go in the champ's favor. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. Nailed it. Watch out here. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Check out Jeff Hardy. This could mean trouble. Jeff Hardy was able to get out of the way there. Drop kick! Great athleticism. But the head scissors are fine. Oh, ooh, man, that's just nasty. some of the more memorable parts of the match. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere.